The Samsung S Pen comes with the latest Samsung Galaxy tablets, the S7 and S8 series, as well as the flagship Samsung Mobiles. The S Pen magnetically connects to the back of the tablet and charges at the same time. It also magnetically sits on the top but it does not charge at this location. And this tablet is the S7 Plus. You can use the S Pen to take a quick note. To do this, just press and hold the button, then double tap anywhere on the screen. This will open up quick notepad. To erase, just press and hold the button and go over what you would like to erase. You can change the pen type, colour and thickness. Just go to the top left option. You can then save the note or discard. You can also do the same from the lock screen. Again, press and hold the button, then double tap anywhere on the screen. To erase again, just press and hold the button and go over what you would like to erase. On here, you can also change the color and thickness from the top left, although the options are more limited on the lock screen. To customize the S Pen, go to Settings, Advanced Features, and then choose S Pen. With the pen, you can have a pointer showing when you hover on the screen, as you can see here. You can toggle this on or off, depending on your preference. I personally prefer it off. Next, we have the S Pen shortcuts. You can customize which actions or apps will appear in the shortcut menu. You can reposition, remove or add. The shortcuts pen menu display displays as a faint pen icon on the side of the screen when the pen is not charging. You can move the icon anywhere on the screen. These are ideal for quick actions like Smart Select, where you can select any part of the screen and if you want, add any text on top. And then you can save these if required. Another extremely handy shortcut is screen right, or as most of us know it as snapshot. Also available in the shortcuts and in the Android menu is the is Pen Up. It's a creative app letting you colour or draw. You can start from scratch or use the hundreds of templates. And with the templates, you can color them in yourself. There is also a learn to draw feature for the S Pen. The S Pen button can be customized 
to a navigational option or to any other app. Just go to the S Pen settings in the advanced features menu, then choose Air Actions from the top. You can choose from any of these options or any of the apps. Here I will choose Screen Write. So when I hold the button, a screenshot will be taken. It's much easier than pressing the power and volume buttons together. Next I will customise to launch the camera. So you just press and hold for a couple of seconds to launch the camera. You also have five air gestures that can be customised with the S Pen. They can be changed to a navigation option, a feature or any app. Here I have mine linked to Back, Smart Select, Recent, Home and Screen Write. And they're actually quite easy to do. Within the camera, you can use the pen to navigate and take pictures. Press and hold the button. You can use the gestures left or right to move through the menus at the bottom. Then you can press once to take a picture or when in video, you can press once to start and a second time to stop the video. If you double press, you can switch between the front and the rear cameras and vice versa. Media can also be controlled as well. Here I'm in the uh, YouTube music and you can do the press for play and pause. You can use the gestures left for previous track and right for next track. You can also double press to skip to the next track. You can press and hold and point up for the volume to go up and the same with pointing down. As you see, the volume will be going down. There's currently no volume on this due to copyright music. And exactly the same can be done in YouTube Music. And also in Spotify as well. And that was a quick look and demonstration of the Samsung Galaxy S Pen here on the tablets. If you have any comments or questions, Leave them down below.